Okay. Um. Woman here. Uh, here. 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 And the door is opened. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I suppose I should have expected that. But there's a panel here. It looks like we have a, another way out, hopefully. Uh, something happened. I, like, press a button to save, and... Those three figures are legendary. Water mages know the tale well. It is said the God King Not and I wished to test the worth of his daughters by presenting them treasures of untold wealth. He displayed them an open clamshell, saying that only one could claim it. One of his daughters rushed forward to seize her prize, shoving aside her sister in the process, and was encased in the clam for eternity. The other who had demonstrated patience and self-discipline ruled in her father's name thereafter. Well, what about the one who uh, got shoved? It didn't seem fair for her. There's an oddly shaped metallic object on the floor. The relief depicts Nautani, God King of the Salmoni. Those other two are his daughters. They are presenting an open clamshell which is meant to be laden with treasures. A three-headed serpent, better known as a hydra. A crystal ball. They're harder to use than they look. I only use authorized orbs, like the sphere of knowledge. Oh, come on, man. A set of three monkeys in a string of familiar poses. Oh, if you look closely, it's hear no evil, um, see no evil, hear no evil, feel no evil? I wouldn't want one of them. Something like that. A chest for all manner of keepsakes, not necessarily the priestesses. It's locked tight. I can't open it. Aw, oh, come on, man. <laughs> A circular dais occupies the center of the treasury. Oh, that's not a real sword. That's just on the dais. Oh, this, this is cool. Hmm, that wasn't right. Well, I just figured it would go to him, right? I should... <coughs> Maybe there's an order to this. Yeah, I just don't know what it is. All right, let's back out because there's a book here. A book lies open. Um, Guardian and the Canyon? In the land south of the Crimson Canyon, there was once a great treasure of an unimaginable wealth. It was said to have been left behind by the elements to tempt and test those who would claim it. To protect this trove, a hydra, Serpent had three heads to guard. Many tried to pass, none succeeded. One day, a man entered the canyon and approached the beast. He asked it, Noble creature, to whom do I address? You are death, is the reply, should you choose to come closer. I do not, said the man, but if it pleases you, I should know you better. A tree of forked tongues flickered forward. No one since the reckoning has sought this of us. Know us now. One sees the ant upon the mountain. One hears the beating of a moth's wings. 
One speaks not but the silkiest words. Only with these are we whole. The man considered this. Would a gift suffice in exchange for allowing me to pass? It would, said the speaker of the three, if all are appeased. The man went away and returned some time later, carrying a basket. Placing it before the beast, he pulled it from he pulled from it three small monkeys. Upon touching the ground, one covered its eyes with its hands, the others its ears, and the last its mouth. He offered each one carefully to the hungry heads. In an instant, the animals were consumed by the serpent. The man waited. A chorus of gas followed. I cannot see. I cannot hear. The third head said nothing, its eyes wide with horror as it joined the other two in frenzied thrashing. The man calmly picked up the basket and set past the serpent while all the wealth in the world lay waiting. When he returned to his land, his people prospered from his success for many generations. This is why the wooden shields borne by those of the canyon depict three simians set above the drooping heads of a sea serpent. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see if we can pick up this dagger. The dagger? I can't take it. What trickery is this? Okay. Let us go and try this again. I thought if we go, um, <clears throat> I thought if we go back and forth between the Hydra and the, and the Sino Evil figures, it would have worked. But it doesn't seem to be working. Well, there's one more to do, though, so let's try it one more time. This is getting really boring. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not sure what the order is here. I mean, besides the fact that the, uh, the monkeys interact with the Hydra. Um. A massive prism hangs above the dais. This stone block is a more recent addition to the wall. I wonder who's missing that now. It wouldn't fit, thankfully. Looks like that half from Harry Potter. I don't need to lug around large lumps of gold. Okay, how about small lumps of gold? A set of three monkeys in a string of familiar poses. I wouldn't. Hmm. So there is a Hydra and a Reckoning Salt this, an ant beating uh, Silky Words, and then the monkeys. I don't see any way of moving it. They are too ugly to pet. Would they do more than hiss? Those three figures are legendary. Water mages know the tale well. One okay, yeah, we've heard that already. The only way out of the treasury is solid, heavy, and completely immovable. Judging by the lock which bears four asymmetrical indentations, I will need a unique key to open it. Um, I imagine that is a lot of money. A silver cup. The priestess knows what she likes. I have little use. Oh, we had that strange device. I forgot about that. It makes a good back scratcher. 
And it looks like a key I've never seen. The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. Um. The prongs on this strange device do not match up with the holes in the door. In fact, they appear inverted. Wait, go back to that? The only way out of the treasury is... The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetric. So the prongs on this strange device do not match up with the holes in the door. In fact, they appear inverted. Okay. What do I do with that though? If we figure that if we figure that that's how we have to use this light, how do we turn it? I do not know. I'm gonna save, hold on. Let's go back and read the book. Do you ever get the feeling like... Well, I mean, this book has to tell us the answer. But the only thing we can get out of this book is... A man comes across a hydra... And... He wants... A man comes across a hydra... And he defeats a hydra by using three monkeys. In the land south of the Crimson Cane, there was once a great treasure of magical wealth. It's said to have been left behind uh, to protect this trove, a hydra, uh, a noble creature from the address, your death. Um, let me bring you a gift. It would. Placed by the beast, he pulled three monkeys. And then they all went crazy. And when he returned to his land, this uh, why the one shield's born in those canyons. So we have a chalice. You know, I'm gonna, hold on. We have a chalice. A hydra. And we know that there is a hydra in our story. Uh, we have the, the god. He wasn't in our story. The chalice wasn't in our story either. We have what looks like a shield. Was there a shield in our story? <clears throat> we have a 
I don't know what, a manticore? Um, I'm pretty sure he wasn't in our story. We had the three monkeys. <clears throat> they weren't in our story. We have treasure. Wait, he came across the treasure hold. And we have more treasure. Um, <clears throat> but the second treasure hold looks like a heart. So if we go back to the book, it says, once a great treasure. Then we have the Hydra. Then we have the three monkeys. Picked up the basket and said, Pass where all the wealth in the world lay waiting. When he returned to his land, his people prospered. This is why the wooden shields. We have treasure, Hydra, monkey, and shields. And that's a golden heart, and that's treasure. So they're two different things. So why don't we try activating this uh, squiggly thing? And why don't we try doing it in that order? So we have Hydra. Um, treasure. Monkeys. And shield. Uh, that didn't do anything. What's up? Wait, treasure is first. I'm an idiot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Treasure is first. Let's try that. Treasure. And then we have... Hydra. Then we had the monkeys. And then we had the shield. That didn't seem to work either. What am I missing? And we still can't take the dagger, right? Ah. Uh, well. <clears throat> um. Treasure. Hydra. Death. We don't have death anywhere. No ants. <clears throat> no moss. No words. We have a basket. We don't have a basket anywhere. Three monkeys. Then the basket again, which we don't have. But we do have wealth down here. So do we have to go back to wealth after the monkeys? And then we have the sea serpent there. Actually, we have monkeys and then serpent. Man, how complicated is this puzzle? Let's just try it one more time. Treasure? Maybe it was the wrong treasure. Hydra? Monkeys and shield. What if what if you had to do it like a lock? So like let's say you go always start with left. What if you go to the treasure? So you go to the treasure and then you go to the hydra. And then you go to the monkeys. 
And then you go to the well. Wait, what just happened? Did you hear that? It made a noise. That was definitely a noise. That hasn't happened before. Treasure? Hydra? Monkeys? Oh, thank you, finally. And we got a mirror out of all this. There's a remarkable depth to the mirror's reflection. Maybe we have to use the tool on this. I can't use that item there. Because it's inverted, right? <clears throat> Whoa! Okay, that's weird. Is the priestess toying with me? Yeah, now we're wearing a different outfit. We seem to be in the same room, but everything is different. Ah, uh, we got the dagger. And wait, um, the key was inverted too, right? So can we use the key on this? The keyhole has a distinctive asymmetrical shape. The device I collected from the floor appears to match up, but there's one cylindrical prong missing. There's one prong missing? What? Uh... Um... I think I can see a glint. Ah! I did find it strange how there was like a grate here and there's no water there's coming out. There's a short down. length of metal inside. Seems to be a piece of something. Excellent. That may be it. There. The prong fits securely into the little hole on the device. Woohoo! I think we got it, you guys. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What just happened? I don't want to explore the world beyond the mirror treasury. Having to deal with two priestesses would not be fun. Okay, so we open the door, but it's not the right door? Maybe we have to check the other drain here. Oh, the door's open! There is nothing. The door's open because we opened it in the other world. Ah! Woohoo! We made it! Alright, now we gotta get to the priestess without dying a very horrible death. Okay, let's say all this F20. You know, a surprising amount of saves for... I mean, just... A, what seems like a simple task. Go get a lock of hair. And yet... In order to get a lock of hair, we had to do all this. Hello, I have something for you, and I don't mean to kill you with it. You are most resourceful. I have one last task for you. Only the purity of Lake Lurelei will reawaken the magic of this blade. It must be dipped by my hand, else the dagger cannot resist the curse of my imprisonment. Bring me water from the lake, and you shall have what you came for. Hmm. Well, that may be a problem, because as I mentioned before... Oh, wait, we have a pitcher. I was about to say, we don't have any flask on us right now. But we had a pitcher. Ha-ha! Yes! I was almost positive we would have to run all the way back to town to uh, get a flask, but we have a container with us. Now the question is, will she just let us in, or will we have to go all the way? Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way back again. All right, let's save because I'm pretty sure our enemies are going to attack us. I think to follow the priestess, you gotta follow these like um, serpents. Okay, I'm wrong, but I know we go to the right here. Yeah, I know we go this way. 
I'm and this way. Ah, not so bad. Fantastic. I have the water. Finally. I didn't think I was gone that long. I wasn't. Can you imagine? For centuries surrounded by the means, without the means to attain it. My jailers have a sense of humor, at least. And irony. But they sent initiates, one after the other. Hundreds must have stepped through those doors, each with their trinkets. Piece by piece, drop by drop, I acquired enough to fashion this blade. You created the dagger? Why? It does not matter. With its magic restored, I am now ready. I only require a small lock of hair. A lock? Silly boy, I will not waste the blade's power on a trim. Then what? Whoa! Aw, oh, this ain't good. You must forgive the deception. What do you think of your new home? I don't like it. Why so sad? Does the child miss his mother? She does not remember you. As for your father... Don't talk about my family! What is this? Motivation. I have had lifetimes to divine the conditions of this cage. For an eternity and more, I thought this my endless prison. Yet no cage is inescapable. It may have taken longer than the world needed to forget me, but I have discovered its weakness. The generosity of others. I don't think that's a weakness. You, my almost mage, are going to free me. What? Simply agree to take my place, and my time here is ended. Ah. Before you answer, consider. I can teach you much. More than any of your brethren are willing or able. You dream of becoming the mightiest of mages. I have seen that future, and can help you achieve it. You need only say yes. A small price, you must agree. Why the dagger, then? A mere formality. A ritual. Nothing you won't forget in a few centuries. You can forget it now! I won't help you! Do not be so hasty. You will not find the alternative pleasant. I will leave you here to reconsider. I have learned patience, among other things. When you have made your decision, you need only scream for me. Wow. Oh. Five hundred years. Who could live like that? Unchanging, eternal, decaying within. I can smell time's waste in this dungeon. It's sick with entropy. Even the walls. Ew. Okay, so we just got ourselves in a deep, deep pool here. There's an Iron Maiden, a door, spiked apparatus, dais, and shackles. The shackles are used to incapacitate prisoners. Can we slip out of the them with water? The chains look a little rusty. The cracks in the metal shackle have given way. Now for the other shackle. Nice. Aha! Think you got the best of dark? I don't think so. Um. Alright, now. Haha! -ha. You think you got the best of dark? I don't think so. Not a nice lady. The maiden is already open to that idea. <laughs> head crushing device? A device for reducing the size of one's head. Ow! It has spikes. Lots of them. A dais. There is some residue around the edges. Is that... Blood? No. I don't want to know. Yeah, you probably don't. Not while I'm in control of my faculties. Now, do we go up the door or do we go up the stairwell? Looks like this is locked, though. Locked and bolted. And bolted. Wonderful.
Up the stairs we go then. Maybe? Can I not leave through here? I guess not. The friendliest feature of this wretched place. Is there maybe a hidden compartment if you move the I torch? I can see well enough. I guess not. Skeletal remains of a prisoner. His possessions have already been taken. What do we have in our inventory? The spells illusions. Screaming tree sap. I can't use that. Okay, not here. Do we have anything I can open the door? Maybe a pipe? I can't use that item there. Hmm. Well, that's scary. I didn't even notice that. A stone cobra poised to strike. Maybe we need to call her out and then she'll appear and then we'll attack her. No point in talking to myself. Okay, I guess not. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna try going... Oh, wait, there's a door here. I'm such an idiot. I overlooked the simplest it's things. It's jammed shut. Not to mention, locked. Oh, uh, never mind. It looks like you can't go that way anyway. It's jammed shut. What else can we do here? An alcove? There's nothing in them as far as I can tell. I was thinking about escaping through there. Small alcoves. Guess not. Um... How do we get out of here? One day, my spells might be powerful enough to counteract this dark magic. Just not today. Nope, not today. What do we say to death? Not today. Uh, flower, flesh, tingleberries, uh, sap of tree, a worm. I really doubt there's some, I, I'm pretty sure the answer is in this room because otherwise the game would be unwinnable. And by this year, hopefully they, you know, stop doing that in games. This device has come loose from its wall fixtures. Ooh, lucky, lucky. This room is, from all available evidence, a dungeon. Despite the priestess's element, this environment suits her best. I mean, there's like a passageway there. You can clearly see it. Maybe we moved this the wrong way. Is it on the lock? Oh, okay. That works. I thought you had to break through the wall or something. Nope, you just gotta bust the lock open. And we're out. Sneaking into a woman's bed chamber, such impudence. Etiquette doesn't apply to people like you. People you tell like her. me, in 500 years, there have been none. You stand before an ocean storm, child. My will is but its waves. All I see is a failed mage, drowning in her own irrelevance. Oh, Strong get wrecked. Words spoken by those whose heads now line my walls. So choose your next carefully. I offer you immortality and power. Tell me your answer. Heck Why? No. Are you going deaf in your old age? As you wish. I need only wait for the next initiate. Whereas you, pupil, are due for your lesson. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay, it looks like we got a, uh... Looks like we got a safe spot here. 
So we need a fire. Uh, I guess it wasn't so safe after all. Nope, it's not so safe after all. Ah! Wish I had more healing potions. Doing a good job at willing it down. It's just this thing has a lot of life. We got him that time. Got him. Yes. They both collapsed at the same time. Interesting. We are beating the giant crab. Crab people. Crab people. I wonder what that was. Yes, I do want to check. Um, <clears throat> wow. Two constitution, one strength, but requires four constitution? Guess what I don't have? I don't meet the- I don't have the constitution, which is great. F23. The priestess appears incapacitated. She's not in the mood to talk. For a change. So I think what we need to do is we need to take the dagger, then cut her hair. But I want to search around this place a little bit more first if I can. Artifacts of binding. Any tangible artifact can be used as a summoning conduit, providing that the inception ritual outlined in the previous chapter is strictly adhered to. Once constructed, the artifact must be bound to a living entity you intend to summon by physically coming into contact with said being or an item belonging to it. Next, the sealing ritual must be performed. Immerse the artifact in the element most befitting the entity to be summoned. This enables limited telepathy through the artifact. During the final summoning ritual, position the binding artifact, the conduit, and an item pertaining to the entity on a symbol of great power. A magical incantation must be spoken to conclude the summoning process, or by the entirety the entity's physical form shall manifest. See the Tome of Summoning for a list of verbal incantations varying by species. Huh. I smell fine, though I might need a bath after my trials are over. That's, that's all perfume. Jewelry box? This isn't something I wish to open in a hurry. <coughs> Who knows what the priestess considers decorative? Uh, sorry for the cost, everyone. Uh, let's see. Um, shrine, ancient books. Books detailing whatever twisted dark arts the priestess practices. Even the higher mages need special permission to consult such tomes. Now let me guess, you're not willing to do that. I could render my initiation void just by touching these. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, let's use the dagger on her. Finally, I have a lock of her hair. Woohoo! Wait, don't kill me. I can still help you. Show you the path you seek to power. I'm listening. There is a tome, not in any library, but in the hands of one who does not understand its power. You are fated to find both. Assuming you're right, what then? Seek the tome, then I shall instruct you further. Uh, I don't think so. She has fallen unconscious. Is this more guile? Should I believe her? Probably don't. Slay or sp no? We're not gonna kill her. We're not. We're not that type of person. I mean, even if this is the righteous thing to do, um. You know, hey, let's end her imprisonment after 500 years. But not a murderer. Eternal imprisonment is punishment enough. We just gained one intelligent point. Mercy trumps murder. Achievement unlocked. Although I am very curious to see what would happen if you... Oh, wait. We probably don't have a save. No, we probably don't have a save. Let's try it, though. What was, what was, uh, save 23? Oh, we do have a save. Cool. 
Let's see what happens if we kill her. I wonder who or what Amon Cool was intending to summon to the palace. I don't remember that. It's only a ref Anything we can do with the, the mirrors. mirrors? Okay. I can't. Let's see what happens if you kill her. Fine. We're not going to. But I just want to see what happens if you do. Wait. I wonder if you like it in game I'm over. There is a she has. It is done. Wow, that was dark. And I don't mean dark as in our name, dark. I mean that was dark. We lost experience, and in addition to losing experience, we um, did not get our intelligence bonus. So yeah, that's definitely not the right thing to do. It has a sweet but sickly smell. You are definitely not supposed to kill her. I do not wish. Although I do wonder what happens if you do choose to kill her. How does that like affect the storyline? Um, because yeah, I mean that that's kind of interesting. The fact that you can actually do that. We did get a point of intelligence, which is really good though, because now. The next level up, we probably don't need to put a point in intelligence. Uh, we could probably put it in strength. Uh, we could put two points in strength, one point in mana, one point in, in constitution, perhaps. I'm not sure. I mean, we still have 40 experience to go before that happens, so we'll just wait. We got out of this place really easy, by the way. Let's get the heck out of here. And then where do we go? Do we go back to the Mage Tower? I mean, we did have some stuff we turned in. We did. We had those Cassiope uh, thingamajigs. Um, we were told to get those for someone. We... That's it. <laughs> I was about to say, we also have this, this, and this, but we don't. Okay, well, we did complete the first initiation. And we probably should go to the... Uh, we should probably go to the Mage's Tower. Because, point to my notes... Which, I had to find my notes in all this Gabriel Knight notes and 999 notes. Here it is. Um, those aren't the right notes. Uh, where are my notes at? Uh, Observation Hall. Uh, Shadow Earth. I know I wrote down this stuff somewhere. Okay, I can't seem to find my notes that say, you know, what it is we are supposed to do on our quest. So let's head back to the Mage Tower. You know, the townspeople are wearing magic. Okay, uh, let, let's head back here. Uh, reading Hall. Because I also want to click on the uh, the orb thingy to see if anything happens from it. Dark, you survived the palace. We sure did. You don't have to sound so surprised. I'm sorry. We almost did die, though. I mean, let's be honest. <clears throat> no new news. No new news. Um, now that we do have a ton of in inventory stuff, though, what happens if we give him a healing potion? Uh, do we not have healing potions anywhere? Oh, I forgot. There's more scrolling here. We had an empty flask the entire time. Oh. And here's the task list. Griffin's egg from the mountains of Lyteria. All right. And I don't see the healing potions anywhere, though. <clears throat> Let's go to the training hall. Uh, yes, we survived. 
That's Nothing the new. spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. Don't talk to me. Let's see if we can learn anything new here, though. The sphere has not judged me ready to wield more spells yet. All right, so level two was not the level where we get more magic. That's disappointing, but you know, it. maybe it's not based on levels. Maybe it's based on, maybe it's based on um, progress, like milestones. You did it, Dark. I what did do it. the priestess? She is as I found her. Though many would have it otherwise. You did the right thing. Yeah, I did. Let's hope so. I did do the right thing. No new information, but we do have the hair, right? Keep it safe. Okay. Nothing else, I guess. Training hall, Dark's private room. Don't need to go there. Or we can go to the hallowed hall. Ooh. You have returned, Initiate Dark. You're no Marmon. Your efforts thus far have proven your value to this tower. We accept the lock of hair as proof of your accomplishment. Aha! Do not grow complacent. The most challenging tasks lie ahead. The Priestess Amankul lives, despite your opportunity to dispatch her. Mercy is a trait we encourage among all our castes. Stand tall in the knowledge that you represent us well. Rest now, then turn your mind to the mountains, where you will need wits as sharp as the eyes that keep watch from there. I definitely want to play this game again uh, elsewhere in the town of Ignore with a different element. And go through like mercilessly and just like kill people if you can to see how that changes the story. Because that, that, if you can do that, that would be pretty interesting. Who goes there? No one special, at least not yet. You, you're one of them from that tower. Most astute. What do you want? A word, and your cooperation. I can make it worth your while. Keep talking. Wasn't that the guy in the tavern? Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved, and you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.